two locksmiths, two regular people, three impossible padlock puzzles. Who will succeed and who will be locked out? I'm your host, Katie Wilson, and this is the Impossible Puzzle Lock Challenge. In today's episode, real people and locksmiths are competing to see who can solve trick padlock puzzles the fastest. Luis, Brandon, Ricky, and Kendall. YouTube creators like Chris Ramsey and Mr. Puzzle are known for finding the solutions to impossible puzzle boxes like these padlocks. Of course, none of these come with instructions and I honestly have no clue how to solve them. So hopefully our expert locksmiths can figure out the key. Hi, my name is Luis. Hi, my name is Ricky. I'm a professional locksmith, Fernella Locksmith. I started because there was no locksmiths in the area. They're all really kind of old. So we're one of the first like young locksmiths. I'm very excited to be competing with puzzles. I think it's gonna be very fun. I think I'm gonna do amazing in this competition. First off, we have Luis and Ricky. What does it take to become a professional locksmith? You know what? Uh, you just apply for a locksmith license and open a few locks. Do that for about a year and you'll be a professional. Wow, how do you think your skills are gonna translate to the competition? Uh, I don't think they'll translate very well. We're very nervous, but we're ready for the challenge. I'm fascinated, yeah. You're fine. Right it looks like a challenge. Um, over here we have Brandon and Kendall. Guys, we're so excited to have you here. You are not professional locksmiths. No, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I've opened yeah. doors a few times mm -hmm. with my keys that though. Could help. When I was 10, I learned how to pick a lock and maybe like a week after I completely forgot how to. I'm scared, I yeah. fear, but I'm a fan of puzzles. I think really it's gonna come down to what's up here. I believe in both of these teams here and let's see who is going to be our winner in round one. In round one, Brandon will compete with Luis and Kendall will compete with Ricky. The first people to open their puzzles will go on to the final challenge. But they're not just fighting each other, they're also fighting the clock because each of these rounds will be timed. Before we get into the real competition, we'll warm up with a simple puzzle lock, the broken heart. We're gonna give you five minutes to complete them. Are you guys ready? Born All ready. Right. ready. Oh yeah. Three, two, one, go! What the heck? Have you ever seen a lock like this before? Uh, yes, I have actually. Kendall, have you seen a lock like this before? Yes? It straight up just reminded me of one of those like diary locks. How are we doing over here? I'm thinking fantastic. When I first saw the brass heart lock, I was scared of getting my heart broken. So are you thinking this is gonna be pretty easy for you? No, I'm, I'm not gonna assume that. <laughs> Every lock is different, you never know. I'm just playing with it, you know, just... This lock is very old. Any progress? Am I just twisting this wrong? <laughs> like, I don't understand. I know nothing about walks. <laughs> Got it. Oh, what? Got it, all right. I just put the key inside and twisted it to the left. I twisted it to the right. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> oh, all right, Kendall. Oh. <laughs> Great job. Oh. Round one, Brandon. What the hell, how did I do that? It was a good warm up, but Definitely did not prepare me, I think, for the next lock. What did you do to get this open? I just went with it. There are two keys, one hole. <laughs> I think it was by accident, honestly. <laughs> okay, that doesn't count. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. The method I would use if I can open the lock is just breaking it. I thought it was gonna be easy. I didn't realize there was a twist. You're not supposed to insert the entire key just up uh, right before the last little tooth. And then I shook left and found the little sweet spot, and then this this thing came undone. Now our competitors will compete to see who can finish the six key puzzle padlock in less than 20 minutes. Three, two, one. Oh. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before, and the keys are locked in, and there is no keyhole. With the second lock, I was very confused by it because it gives the appearance of being very solid. How would you even start this? That doesn't make any sense. Usually when there's a padlock, I grab the grinder and I cut it off. <laughs> uh, in this case, the method, I'm going to inspect it and see what makes it tick. I'm trying to see where you put a key, but... I know, right? There's literally no hole. There was literally no holes to go anywhere on the lock. I thought you guys were tricking us. This is not an actual puzzle. I don't believe it. I just want to pry things open. Same. Hey, you're making oh, some so progress. Good. Okay. What has been the, the method here? Don't think too hard. Immediately, <laughs> I was overwhelmed because of the six keys. I made sure to take my time with it because if I went in rushing just trying to open stuff, I knew I was going to 
fall behind. Have you ever done a puzzle like this before? Never. This is the first time I've seen anything like this. We do have some progress over here. What? Don't look. Stop don't it. Look. <laughs> no way. You're going to have to think outside the box. How did you get those pieces off? Hard work, dedication, and believing in myself. How are you feeling knowing that the competition is Not making progress? Good. Not good, Katie. <laughs> Let me tell you. There's no way this does something. <laughs> like, no way. I can tell you, I promise it does unlock. I've seen it with my own eyes. I feel like you went into training before uh, coming on today's show. You know show. what? I don't know what the hell's happening. I don't know where I'm getting. Oh, all right. I might win. I was thinking that. Because I saw that uh, Kendall had an open, so I was like, you know what? I might win this one. Oh, I got it. I got oh, it. Stop. Do we get it? I got it. Yeah, all right. We have a winner wow. over here. Brandon, great job. You have unlocked this puzzle box. I was actually really impressed that I finished that first. I didn't realize I would. I realized I had it finished before Kendall. I was like, in your face, because. <laughs> I thought she was going to win. Oh, Congratulations! No. I'm so how sorry. How do you feel? How do you feel? And how did you solve this? I did accidentally just open it. Like, it just started spinning. I don't know how. You assume that you immediately have to jam a key inside of it. That's not the case at all. You have to take one of these little fancy schmancy ones and turn a square-shaped screw off in order for you to start getting through it. When you start unscrewing it, it reveals two new keyholes. It wasn't until I gave it a few rotations that I realized another one of these keys fit inside here. You had to insert both keys together in order for the lock to undo. So Brandon, you're gonna be going on to our finals. Whoa, cool, okay, for sure. Ricky, <laughs> you are gonna be going to our finals. Okay. And I can tell you things are about to get a lot more difficult. Stay tuned. Ricky will do well in the final round. If Brandon doesn't win, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm putting all my money on Brandon. For the final round, we're challenging our winners to solve the incredibly intricate void lock puzzle. Are you guys ready for this one? Yeah, 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 of course. I'm excited just because I want to see like w how much crazier do these puzzles get. You guys have one hour for this puzzle lock. You ready to do this? Sorry, an hour? One hour in three, two, one. Interesting. There was no key, so I knew it was gonna be a challenge. I'm thinking of unscrewing everything. And <laughs> I don't know, if, is that legal or? I'm told no. Oh, okay, you okay. cannot unscrew okay, this. Okay. <laughs> Do we have some progress already here? I'm just gonna play with it. When I first saw that void lock, I knew it was gonna be super hard. I hate puzzles, so this is like There's a locksmith who hates puzzles? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we have some good progress over here as well. Thanks. Oh, I got it. What? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got really excited for you. Do you think these puzzle locks are easier solo, or do you wish you had your partners here to help you? Yeah, I wish I had a partner. Definitely. What advice do you think they'd give you if they were here right now? Just do it, Brandon. Just do it. It's a tricky one. Let me just say that, Katie. It's a tricky one. <laughs> Did you think that the finals would be this difficult? No, see, when the producers told us that it would take maybe an hour, I thought they were joking and just wanted to be mean. But it's looking like this might take an hour. You both have started over from the beginning. Is that helping at all? It is, it is. It is, okay, Brandon? Mm-hmm. Okay, that is good, <laughs> that is good. We are 30 minutes in. With another 30 minutes to go, who is going to be able to unlock this puzzle box first? You ever just get frustrated? Let's, let's just take a walk. Let's just... <laughs> just a lap. Just gonna stretch it out. I wish I could help. Puzzles. The most frustrating part about that last lock was the fact that every time you felt like you were getting really close to the end, some piece was blocking your way. How are we doing over here? Same level of frustration, uh, no, a little not less? Not as much, not as much. Not he as he much. looks very, very mad. I've actually stayed in one job for like 12 hours, so my patience is like extremely high. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Thank you. 
So I'm just trying to wait it out. Did you hear that? He said he's gonna try to wait it out. He thinks you're gonna quit. He might not be wrong. <laughs> I just knew I just had to stick, wait it out, and I was gonna be good. By the end, it comes down to whoever made it the farthest. Even if you didn't unlock that top lock. At first, you take things slow and you wanna use logic. But then you get like 45 minutes in and you just want to brute force the thing, you know? And that's not the way to do it. There's this little one maze I have to get through, right? But another piece is blocking me from doing so. And so when I try to retrace my steps, I need to end up moving all the other pieces to get there. And so it just it puts me in a vicious circle. All right, you guys, we have two minutes left. It has come down to nearly the full hour to try to solve these. Well, Brandon, that's an interesting tactic you have there. I believe that is an illegal move. <laughs> <laughs> have you given no, up? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you were trying to cheat there. No, this, uh, apologies. Brandon, I think because <laughs> you tried to remove the screw, which is definitely an illegal move, I'm gonna have to disqualify you. Oh, that's how that one went. It's okay, I lost but I got to see all the pieces fall out of the lock, which is really what we were all here for. I cheated on this lock challenge and it felt okay. I was very happy when I realized he cheated because I knew I was gonna win. I'm guessing that that leaves Ricky as our winner. Thanks. Winner by not cheating. <laughs> I would like to try it again in the future just cause I already know like I stubbed my toes in already, so I go, I'm gonna try it again. I'm happy that my partner at least won that round. The last lock was really fun for the first half hour, you know, so honestly, I had a majority of a good time today. Maybe I should be a locksmith and then we'll, we'll rematch. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching Locksmith's Take on Padlock Puzzles here on the React channel. If you like this episode, hit that like button, subscribe for new shows each week, and leave a comment letting me know which experts I should test next. See you next time. React Nursing Mary here. Show your love for FBE with some merch from shopfbe.com. Bye.